everyone, and welcome to Portal. You're joining me, Ricky, and with me is Aaron. Well, hello there. <laughs> there we go. I didn't know if you got the cue or not, but he did. <laughs> and yeah, today we're looking at jumping into the Valve game, Portal. Yes, now, you didn't you... play Portal, did you? No, no, I didn't. And I was going to say, this is a series, um, four-hour series playthroughs that we, we picked. Um, uh, well, uh, I was more than happy to pick because, yeah, I haven't played it. Um, it's just one of those games where I uh, heard good things, and I think it's very iconic. But yeah, I just wasn't really something I played through myself. Uh, uh, but yeah, more than happy to uh, go through it with you and uh, everyone watching. And uh, that means uh, I'm sort of like one of the viewers too, except that I can actually bug you as we go rather than just leaving a comment. So yeah, you can critique me when I'm failing yeah. at a general test or <laughs> general puzzle. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, um, I mean, I guess. The only difference between some people that will watch us will like know exactly how the port puzzles will go, and be like, "Oh my God, how go how are you guys not doing it like this?" Um, where I, I I don't know how any of the puzzles go, so at least it's very I I'm not going to have that sort of critique for you. Um, yeah, I did play this when it first released. I mean, I enjoyed this game, and I played it through, but I haven't played it since. So I, I've got a general idea of the mechanics, and there's probably going to be a couple of puzzles where I will remember, but for the most part, it's got to be like going into it fresh. Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Stand back. The portal will open in three, two, one. And there's our lovely. Okay. I was going to say there's our lovely um, co-host for today, um, robot voice. Um, yes, robot voice will contribute a lot of the commentary. In you know this what series. I? I just realised because like. We, we obviously had a little Ooh. test earlier, is that you've got, like, things on your feet that I'm going to get yes. to help you jump. I think they have to do with absorbing impact, Yeah. if I was to guess, because I can't jump f oh, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. but I can fall from a reasonable height. So I, I guess they're... You're right. I guess they're to absorb impact on falls, maybe. I've always loved this little picture-in-picture -picture effect with these portals. It, it was mm. so cool when it first came out. Um. I, I think, it. I think the other thing that um, I pointed out when I first saw this um, to you, and now the audience can have my take on it as well, is that I can't help but notice that there's a, a toilet here, um, but there's nothing, mm. there's no, nothing to wash yourself up in. So there's no shower, there's no, there's no like tap, there's, there's not even a toilet paper here. So I, I'm sort of a bit skeptical as to how clean we really are. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, it doesn't even look very look clean, does it? No, it, it's not looking very good, is it? I mean, if you drop one in that, oh, yeah. I don't know, you're either wiping with this, the paper on oh, yeah. this clipboard, or you're giving it the old hand, and when you hit the flush, you give it the old splish splash, rinse in the water. Mm. Maybe there was a bunch, maybe uh -oh. there was like a, pi a pile of tissues um, that it, it's all gone now, and we don't know, know, but yeah, just seemed very, it's one of those things that you know, you notice, like in video games, you notice those th little things, you're like, well, what the hell the hell is this happening? Yeah, I'm going to guess that you're probably, you're probably like asleep in stasis in this little bubble thing and um but nonetheless they put a toilet there so they see some use but they give you nothing else maybe these robots you know they have a very vague idea of human needs but they don't actually have the full picture you know what yeah. I mean? they're not yeah. you know the robot's not off snapping one off you know after a after a big meal so it probably doesn't really understand well, what what, what, they a, need. what what they've probably done is that the the robots have seen a brand new house with no one's moved in yet and they've just like copied and pasted some of the stuff yeah, googled some images. Toilet. Yeah, <laughs> no idea. Yeah. Needed it. Didn't know the tap was meant for meant to come with it. So didn't know that toilet paper existed. They're like, no, nah, the Google images, toilet. They just need that. It's probably not even plumbed in. It's just sat on the ground. Yeah, just sat there. <laughs> I'm just looking at this, and so I'm going to guess this is the first test. So zero zero, mm. and of nineteen. So I guess there's nineteen puzzles, and. 
I'm guessing these little highlights here are telling us what to expect in the puzzle. So, I mean, that's the companion cube. A lot of people know the companion cube. A bunch of people have them as little plushies. Mm. Yeah. Got to be yeah, aware no. of it smacking you in the head. And then obviously we got a few other things that will no doubt come up over the course of the game. Uh, so no drinking the so water. The water's, yeah, the water's not drinkable, so... Fair enough. It's only um, for plum plumbing. Uh, you get and, the, and cake. Possibly uh, oh. you get cake at the end or you get turned into cake. It's going to be one of the two. It's a bit unclear. Yep. Okay, so what do we got? There's a bunch of cameras watching you the whole way. It's quite creepy. Okay, so we got... I mean, with, right. that, with that robot voice, it's, you know, it's sort of almost expected, really. Yeah, well, it's obviously keeping an eye on you the whole way. All right, so here's the iconic companion cube. This one is obviously pretty simple. You put that on there. Please proceed Ooh. to the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. Oh, I didn't note it. Temperature science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Okay, so you're not allowed to take the cube with you from puzzles. Oh, number one. What have we got here? Oh, nothing. Nothing's highlighted. Okay, I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay. So we've got a button in here. And it wants me to put the button on this. Okay. And I believe the super colliding super button as well. Oh. Okay, I think I've got to wait. It looks like the portal's opening up on the different rooms. In there? No, so I've got to wait for it to go to the cube. There we go. Yoink. Okay, okay. There we go. Is the button made of some carcinogen? I don't know, I wonder if it's just meant to be like one of those, like, like a joke. It's like, aha, look at the robot, make a funny joke type thing. But, I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, I, obviously one thing from this game that yeah, even people who didn't play it um, know about is that the you know, robot narrator does have a pretty dark and dry sense of humour. Okay, that so it's horrid. Yeah, no, is that so? It's, uh, it's saying that that little particle fool we pass. It's like, yeah, no, you could you could lose your teeth just by going through that. It's like, okay. I'm guessing I take this. Oh, we've got the portal gun. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you see. I tell you, it's hard to get a word in either way with her. Yeah, I know. Chamber lock. Mind the gap. Pretty big gap. Yeah. All right, so obviously we just do that. Yeah, like like if you that part there is what what I think is the is the coolest is and there we when go. you when you're seeing yourself the as you pass through. Yeah, I always love that that you actually see you can see yourself out of the portal as you enter it. It's very trippy. Another piece of game, you know, another iconic gaming item, the portal gun. Which of oh, course right. is made to go with you. Yeah, so obviously this is allowed to go through those fields. Okay, so we've got the cube. We've got an orange portal. We've got a button. Um, okay. 
There yep. we go. That works. Whoa, look at that. There we are. Oh, there, that's you get some mind-bending perspectives in this game, don't you? Wait, wait. Put it. Put the. Put the. Put that down though. Put that down for a second. Yeah. Can you can you go through the wall? I can. It'll sort of. Whoa! Gives you a little push. Ah, uh, I was hoping. I was hoping you'd just like go up and come back down again. And get stuck in an infinite yeah. loop. <laughs> Well, not an infinite loop. Once you get back down again, you just end up on this side. Like, gravity goes... Yeah. <laughs> I just thought I might go like... Well, you want, like you can do that. Like, you could technically do that, I guess. If you found a portal that was already horizontal. Yeah, what a horrible way to die, wouldn't it? Constantly I mean, yeah. stuck, stuck in this loop, just whoop, 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 between two portals. Yeah. Unless someone like hit, hit you out of it. So apparently we're on our own. Okay, I'm just gonna be aware of being hit by the cube, so I don't actually get one. Okay, we got two buttons. We got oh, that up there. Um, this should be. Let's try this, and then maybe. Do that. There we go. Wow. Got that I mean, one. I guess the warning for being hit by a cube was there, but I mean, at the end of the day, like that didn't really seem like. Can it actually warning. kill you? That's that's what I'm not sure of. Can it actually kill you? All right, let's get that onto there and go up. All right. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, cameras that aren't watching us, sure. Have a required test protocol. Our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Enhancing the truth. I mean, that's one way to look at it. Actually, what's going on? Oh, I see. So... Whoa, look at that. I mean, I would have shot. I, I would have oh. shot down. I would have shot down on the ground, then, like. But that's just how I would have rolled. Oh yeah, true, true. If anyone is a, a sufferer of motion sickness, this is not the game for you. <laughs> it's probably in VR. That's what I was just thinking to myself. I was like, is it in VR? Because I don't think that would be, like, that'd be. That'd, that'd be, be like a hard. Yeah, that'd be a hard one to like get around, if, especially if you already have trouble with um, VR and, and motion sickness. I mean, vaporization is a pretty serious disability. Hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, so that's what that stands for, for that little high energy pellet. I sort of want to know how vaporization comes from that, to be honest. I feel like... Okay. I guess we just do that. Poorly coded, not a good sign. Okay, so far so good. This is, you know, hey, either I'm a dope. genius, or these are just meant to warm you up and get you used to the game. Hmm, um, I don't really hold out much hope for the first one. Um, but anyway, the in regards to making portals, can you just, like, make a portal in here? I doubt it. There are a lot of surfaces it won't work on from, yeah, no. Pretty sure it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just this stuff, like, yeah. Agitated? Is it conscious? Okay, so I'm guessing we can shoot that there. I just we'll noticed go up that and hit that. Not like meant to be like a a, a room, an office room they watch from. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, I guess people would would be in there watching. There doesn't seem to be anyone in there though. Whoa! Oh, I did not mean to do that. That actually uh, really messed with me. I was like, oh, it's funny because like, I didn't, oh, I didn't. Oh, oh, I see, I see. 
I didn't expect you to do that at all either, but like I just took it as like, yeah, no, that's just what he's doing. <laughs> no, I did not mean to do that. I, I forgot about the portal of the ground. That actually startled me. I felt a little sick. <laughs> Imagine in VR. I would have been sick. I would have just projectile vomited. On the, just on the ground. Ugh. I haven't messed with too much VR, but in any of the ones I've done where you have control of your movement, but I'm standing still. Yeah, obviously that's what the brain really struggles with, that you're moving, but you are actually stationary. Yeah, I, I don't do too well with that stuff. And I don't usually have any problems with motion sickness. I think that's why a lot of them... Oh, actually, I'll let it talk. I mean, I don't really care about the record if I die. I was going to say, so I'm, no I'm, I'm a, I was going to say, like, you know, I can handle death, but that record, damn. Yes, not my permanent record. Okay, so apparently we don't don't drink the water here. I mean, I it, would it, never yeah. have been inclined in yeah. the first place. I mean, it's clearly indicating that we'll die if we fall in the water. But just in case you thought drinking would still be okay, don't do that. So I guess it's not saying you'll drown because I mean it, it all depends on your swimming abilities. I'm guessing it's electrified or acidic. Hmm. I want to say acidic. Okay. The look of it. Oh. Oh. All right. So that pellet's going there, and so I need to get over there. So let's do this. Oh. Why don't you hit by that? Okay. So what do I do? Here? So that's. Uh, yeah, I guess I gotta do this. Shoot that, I guess. But don't get hit by it. Send it flying out. And then. And then that. Wait, no. Wait, yeah, 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 because it'll go towards that. Ah, yep, yeah, okay. there no, we yep, go. Yep, no, you're a step ahead of me. Um, Ooh, wow, that was close. That was close, that was close. I'm trying to speed run, you know. Keep up the pace. Alright. Your testing experience. No, I'm pretty sure I've got a severe disability if that ball had hit me. I mean, so it said 19 puzzles. How many are we down already? Seven? Oh well, the big screen will tell us in a second. Nine? Nine? Well, ten technically because it's zero, zero. So we're on to the tenth. Yeah. Well, no, we're on the nine because the zero doesn't count. Oh, it was a chamber. Counts. Yeah, but no, but it, but if there are nineteen puzzles and zero zero was was one of them, then then technically it would be twenty. There wouldn't be nineteen. So we, we've only, we've passed through ten, but we're only on the ninth. So we're still. I don't know where I'm going with this. I, I think I, we both. I think we both said the same thing, but I misunderstood, and then we were confused. So. Um, yeah, I 100% I get, I get where you're coming from, but yeah, I think that's their mistake. But to be fair, when you're working with programming, zero is one, not one. And I guess that's probably the methodology they're going off of. So really, there are 20 Okay. Yeah, really, there's 20, including zero. Um, okay, so let's... Oh, no! Oh! Okay. Oh. Well, that um, this... Because obviously I can't take it through that because it'll just it'll just get destroyed, won't it? So you just carry it through that way. Yeah. So, but there's a little clear gap. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. All right. Awesome. Uh, I guess it's got that there in case you vaporize your cube. Ah, right. Okay. Oh my teeth! Oh no! No, sorry. <laughs> oh god, my teeth! <laughs> Let's see. Please make sure that your mouth is closed when walking through this. Otherwise it'll be soup till the end of your day. So you can't like throw things with this, can you? It's just picking them up. Oh, I don't need, I don't pick anything up with this. I pick it up with my hands. What well, no, the, the the device is clearly use going thingy. I mean, it's I feel like I, going I, thingy. Yeah, I feel like I'm I could sorry. have. I stopped. I'm sorry. I stopped because I stopped because the robot was talking, but th that seemed pointless because we didn't, the robot didn't say anything <laughs> um, eventful. Um, no, like when you go to pick up things now, like that looks like the gun 
like grabs it with like magnetism or something. And I thought that. Oh, that's a good could, point. Yeah, that entirely you can now, possible. Yeah, that you can now like shoot it with a gun, but maybe not. Oh, maybe. I mean, when I was picking stuff up with uh, just pressing E before I got the gun, if I left clicked, it would throw the item. So you're probably right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe we um, when, we, when we get but, when we get something but, again. Yeah, but I guess looking at this, um, just because I sort of did it, I do remember these these puzzles. So it's about using momentum. So when you go into the hole, you get a little boost, and the momentum, you know, um, persists when you come through the other portal and sends you flying. Yeah, I can already. So, I'm already skeptical as to how, like, that would really work because I feel like you wouldn't really get that much momentum to propel you that far. I feel like as soon as you came out, your momentum would stop pretty quickly and you'd just go straight down. That's a fair point. Well, you know, we are also shooting portals out of a gun. It's a game! <laughs> well, no, I mean, there is something to be said that it's got to make sense within its own universe and stuff, yeah. you know, to be fair. And I don't know, I am not a physics man. I am aware of it, but I am not... I'm not capable enough to give an honest opinion on whether this would be enough momentum to send a human body flying that fast. Mm. To be fair, I'm, I'm with you, it doesn't seem like you would actually fly that quickly. And, uh, I believe it's falling with style, uh, not flying. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Holy uh, hell. Okay, so maybe something else is going on, because you, you just did like a twist there, and I don't see why you would. No, no. <laughs> so, you know what? I think that makes sense, because the orientation I went in is... I'm... Yeah, but like you would upside yeah, but, down and yeah, but you falling through your orientation wouldn't just naturally change. Your orient like if you're in mid mid air, like you like you have to somehow move yourself. Um, uh, oh, I don't know. Don't, yeah, this takes too much brain thinking. You're already struggling enough with the puzzles. You're like, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't overload me with information. I literally didn't move for a second because my brain was frying. I mean, that is nice advice. I mean, yeah, okay, so we... we might get killed by a pellet, don't drink the water, and we could get shocked. Okay, what are we looking at? That's obviously no good. That's no good. Okay, so I'm waiting for this to do its little rotation. Okay, we should be good in a second. I want to get that button, no doubt. Oh, uh, yep. Press button. Button. Uh, uh... Do that. Through here. I'm guessing I've got to do that. Well, it seemed to be what we did last time, so hopefully. Oh wait, do we exit it? No. I think I've got to let the pellet hit something, don't I? Well, did it hit whatever did it, it already hit, to something? hit? Well, I think so because oh, like I think it did. Because yeah, it's not producing another one. Oh, oh I did. Yes, it probably got this moving. Okay, we're good. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, especially given what it is currently shooting out, this should upgrade me to shoot a second portal. There we go. How very interesting. I feel like that's not true, but, um... Well, it can't be if they just use subject hometown. Like, yeah, obviously exactly. They're not they could be anywhere. Metric. Yeah. Um... Alright. Like I, 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 they're just talking I, I, a whole bunch up about their I was going to say... Goods. Yeah, and I was going to say there was something I wanted to test with it, but I've completely forgotten. Oh, here we go. What if you had dentures? Would it nick your dentures? I feel like it might do that slightly easier than your normal teeth. I guess it's one of those things again where you like close your mouth and hope for the best. Alright. What do we got here? Momentum and a cube. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Fling myself. Fling. 
Fling but mm, yes, of course. Such valuable advice. Ooh. Okay. Alright, I see what's going on here. So we just go one more. Let's go. Oh. We've got a button. I need that. Oh, oh okay, yep. Okay, this is even that's even less likely. Wait. Wait a second. I think I have to go down. Do you land on it? Oh, no, they give me a huge boost. Okay, throw it. Oh, okay. Oh, it just releases it. Oh, that's not fun. You are right, though. Look, look. Wee, 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 wee. It's got a little grabby yeah. beam. Yeah. Okay, and we're good. And, yep, just got to fling myself up there again. I mean, we are playing this because there's obviously multiple games in the series, so I'm, I'm just saying, um, you know, game two, I want to be able to throw things to the pole again. Just saying. I haven't played two, so I honestly can't say. I only ever played one. Hot. Expectations are set high now. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're breezing. I think we're breezing this. Yeah, I don't know how long the game's actually meant to go for. I'm assume I'm I'm guessing that something goes wrong and the and the game extends to us, us escaping a, a base or something. I mean, I'm pretty sure I remember how it goes, but you know, we'll just let it play out. Oh, how kind! An associate, so the. Are there actually people around here? I don't know. Were, maybe there were people, but now we are the last subject left, and it's just been on. It's been automated for so long. Well, yeah, we clearly woke up in like some containment tube thing, so it's obviously, yeah, you know, we've been lying in there for God knows how long. Though to be fair, if there were others so before us, like oh, we have okay. If, if there's others before us, we haven't come across any bodies or anything, so they've clearly got some system to get rid of the bodies, if people die. True, true. They can just scoop those up in their little robot arms, though. Okay, we're actually getting into... It's getting a bit... A bit dense now. Okay, what do we got? We got that. That shooting around. Okay, well, we'll start off with that, because I can see that happening. Let's send that into that. Oh, I think I've got no idea what's happening here. And then I'll probably need to do this. Oh. Grab this. Put that on there. We've got another button. Where's another cube? Uh, do you just have to stand on it? Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> no. Um. Okay. Oh man. I actually thought I was. Oh, do I need that one again? What one? No, nah, I wouldn't be able to. The one in there. One in there, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Ah. Ah. What? Oh, you can knock the cameras off. Uh, I didn't clearly, know that. That's clearly what we need to be doing from now on. Yeah, I wonder if you can get rid of them all so they can't watch you. Um, okay, like this? Yeah! There we go. Bring that in here. I mean, you could have probably just dropped Bring it. that on there. I could have, but I kind of like the little bendy thing happening. And then we're in here. Previously mentioned required test protocol. <laughs> we can no longer light when the testing is over. You will be missed. <laughs> <laughs> How very, very, very kind. Uh, okay. Well, that looked very confusing. I breezed it. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm fucking yeah. genius, basically. Okay. I mean, I was, going, I was going to agree with you, but you're a bit too aggressive with health for smart people. <laughs> So I'll take it back. <laughs> ding! No? Okay. There, there we ding. go. Yeah, it does miss the satis... 
you know, satisfying ding of an elevator, doesn't ding it? Ding dong. One of the best parts. All right, now we're up to test 15. And this has got a lot of stuff happening. Well, I think we've gotten pretty far through, but uh, I think it's maybe time to be continued. Yes, okay, everyone. Thank you for um, uh, you know sticking with us this far. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, uh, feel free to comment on how handsome and amazing we've been. Um, maybe even like, subscribe, you know, all that funny stuff. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we'll see you next time. Until then, uh, we'll be uh, it's to be continued. Bye.